boring, yeah, yeah Before we even get started, oh, my nails look terrible. I am in the process of trying to take them off. So don't think I have little chiclets on my nails. I got drunk and tried to do my shit, and they look terrible. So now I'm taking them off. But anyway, um, please like, follow, and subscribe. If you're share. watching on YouTube, subscribe and share it. If you're listening, and comment. And comment. If you're listening on the audio platforms, leave us reviews. If you want to give us five stars, we got new reviews. That's awesome. You want to give us five stars? Perfect. Anything else in between? I guess you want to give us one star? Say it with your chest. Give us an explanation. Live tweet. Tweet us. Y'all been doing good. Thank you to those of y'all who have shown up. It is Yana, not Yuna. Oh, Yana. So sorry. Correction. Yana. Yana. So sorry. But it got a U in it. I'm not crazy. Yes, but Florida blacks. We just be doing stuff. Okay. So, cool, yeah. Cool, 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 Ayana, cool. I, I get it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes yeah. sense to me. But, yes, please do all of the things. We are trying to grow the podcast. We are trying to do this for a living. Um, We, we finally hit 10K on the episode. Uh, bah, 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 bah. We did? Yeah, yeah, we did. We talked about this. Yes. Yeah. We did. So, Ayo. proud of that. Um, If you, should we, like, if y'all want to help? <laughs> <laughs> We we we'll, we're gonna open the floor up for like an intern again or something like a something. We need yes, like a we, we need some help. We need like a Curtis Taylor Jr. The, not maybe not as abusive and terrible, but like we need like a. You're a very silly, unreasonable person. A Curtis Taylor Jr. We don't need a Curtis. We don't. We need, need a like Curtis. a. I can't even think. I, of we, we not a Matthew knows either. No Joe Jackson. Mm. Well, I don't know. Well, Matthew, listen, he wasn't great, but he wasn't. He did something. We're not married to him, so you can't have a baby on us. So. Child Richard Lawson. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Them likes, now Richard. For, and I, I hope he wasn't doing none of that stuff in them likes to our good mother. Right. I'm so Because I mean, Tina don't bother Tina nobody. Tina don't bother nobody. And I, first of all, I make it a point to, I feel like you should know what type of porn your partner is into because it gives you a different insight on who they are, but it's certain things I just don't need to know about my nigga man. <laughs> I just, I just never, like, I start, if I, I, I don't know. It's it's like seeing the and Wiz, I, like yeah. on that twin bed. Like, ugh. Like you're really kind of pathetic, bro. Yeah, I like, doubt. Ugh. I doubt they broke up because of his likes, but it's just like that. Which is, I heard he was stealing. I don't know if that's that, true or not. I, so I don't want to like say that's emphatically true. But I saw floating in the sphere that he he was he was stealing. And if you was stealing from that lady, you ought to be ashamed of your goddamn self. I didn't see that, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, hey y'all, uh, let's get into it. Yes. Uh, joke of the week. My joke of the week actually just happened just now. Um, I am just. The most unlucky girl in the whole wide no, world. I you, literally you do be misfortune befalls me. Yeah, you, I don't yeah. know how it happens. Shit just happens to me. I be really minding my business, and yeah. shit just happens, man. So I'm driving here. First of all, the worst thing in the world to me. First of all, I hate being late. I hate when other people are waiting on me, and. It's always some sort of shenanigan that makes me late. It's never that I every time, particularly when you're on your way here. On my way here, and I don't know what it is that like. It's never just like oh I was fucking about, so I'm late. Like it's always I got bit by a dog. My roof was caving in. (laughs) Now, now I'm leaving. Literally, this is the most normal thing. So I'm leaving. The light is very bright in my eye. Oh my goodness. Um, so I'm leaving, and then I, I'm getting to my car. And I'm like, damn, I don't have any gas because I tried to get gas at Sam's Club the other day, and the pump would just because you got to do it through your app at Sam's Club. Like you can't just put your card in there. You got to do it through the app. The, it would just not connect. Everyone I drove to, I don't know if it was my phone. I don't know what was going on. It just wouldn't connect. So I was like, fuck it, I'll get gas another time. And the sun was going down. Dark gas stations. Nope, not really my thing. So. I get in my car today. I'm like, damn, I got to get gas. And so you know how you have your safe gas stations, like the ones you like to go to. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the QT on Northside Drive because that's the closest safe gas station to me. That's safe? That is not safe. It is the safest in the area. Fair, I guess. So I am um I go over there or whatever to get gas. And then I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not going to speed, but I'm going like, to try to push it, you know, to the pot. So I get to over there off Marietta Street or whatever, and this lady's car is just dead stopped. So it's a car, and then it's a car in front of me. It's a car, It's three cars. It's her car, the stop lady, the car that was in front of me, and then me. So I, um, I'm sitting trying to be patient because clearly something is wrong with this lady's car. It's causing me anxiety. Everybody's honking at her. I'm like, whatever. So I'm trying to wait until it's safe to, like, pull out. But everybody also has the same idea. So I 
misunderstood the size of the front of my vehicle and tried to whip out, hit the man in front of me. So I'm like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? And I, I could have just driven off, but that's not really my brand. I don't really behave like that. So we both pull over. I put my hazards on. I'm cry- I'm starting to cry, which I did my makeup really good today because you can't even tell that tears, tears kind of fell yeah. down my face. So I've been using the setting spray that the athletes use, the Sport Fix from Revolution. Mm. It's for the girls who play the sports and do the dancing and stuff. Hmm. It's been going well. But And also, you know you're supposed to use multiple setting sprays at one time, that different setting sprays do different things, and that's why your makeup is separated? Yes. Or, and like not, I just, I just started that. doing that. I just learned that. Um, but anyway, so I start crying before I even really get out of the car. And so I'm walking up to here to him. My eyes are welled up, and I'm like, hey, man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and he was like, nope. Like, straight up. <laughs> he was talking to me like a nigga who knew me. He was like, no. He's like, look at it. It's fine. I'm okay. Like, I'm, Did y'all I'm like fine. Like change, change no, he didn't even, he, I don't know what kind of day he was having. He didn't want to know shit about me. He didn't want to talk. He was like, all right, goodbye. Yeah, somewhere to be. Yes. He was like, I, I, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all set. So, um, yeah, that is why I'm late today. I just don't know why. I wonder what more misfortune, like, are they going to just start repeating themselves? Are more ceilings going to cave in? Are more dogs going to bite me? Or is it going to be new It's shit? like you have very, like, sitcom-y things be happening to you. Like, you know, like, that one person comes in, like, like almost like a Steve Urkel, like, hey, guys, sorry I'm late. And then it's, like, something really something ridiculous. Something crazy, yes, absolutely. Yes, it's like a bunch of unicycles crashed. And if I, if it was not me, like, and it was somebody else, I would think that I was a pathological liar. I would be like, you are making shit up. There's no way that all of this is happening to you, but it, it, it is. Yeah. I got silver paint on my car. Dark silver paint on the front of my car. Well, your car's already silver, so it's kind of like it's a like, it's the ombre. Di- wrong shade. That's cute. It's ombre. highlights. Yeah, it's highlights. But yeah, so that's my joke of the week that Jesus. misfortune is consistently befalling me. God bless me. you. Um, me, my joke of the week is that I don't know. People think th- I like when people think they got my tea, but it's like you only have the tea that I provided to you, and I gave it to you. Hoes are miserable. Go on. Ho- hoes are miserable. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just like because like this past week I was in Detroit because I went to see Beyonce, and I was mm-hmm. with that boy. Duh, obviously what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And um, I was offering the information that I was in Detroit, mm-hmm. but like I'm looking at the shares of my stories and shit, and mm-hmm. it's just like you think you. G- I'm giving you this. And even just the breakup as a whole, I talk to more people about, like, oh, how are you? How are you doing? Like, I remember when it happened and such and such asked me this, this, and that. It's like, I have given y'all every Im- bit of information about this breakup that you know. Mm-hmm. I'm, te- I'm telling you. But see, bitches don't grow up. And that's really what it is. Yeah. Because, like, is this some shit that could come to me that I would consider it tea? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Somebody trying to get in that door. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, absolutely. Yeah. However, I'm not, I'm 30 years old. You bitches are 30. Wanting 30. tea and gossip on people? Go find this you is, something to do. This is my life. Are you crazy? And also, like, this is not, I'm not the first bitch to break up with a nigga and talk. It's been a year. Do you know something's been a year? Uh, yeah, I know. 11 months. I know. Which is crazy. So it's like, if I want to get married tomorrow to this nigga, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all, but, leave me alone. But bitches, I realize, don't really have anything going on in their lives. And especially yeah. when, like, I am an achiever, even when I'm not trying. Baby, am I alone? And a lot of people hope that in our separation of, like, not being friends or not being together or whatever, that all of a sudden my life will become some mess or looking out for bad things to happen to me That's or really what shit, it is. what's going on. And it's like... Any bitch under the sound of my voice that don't like me, first of all, you need to find you something to do. You're miserable. I'm really not and that important. And you're going to keep on getting more miserable because I'm going to keep gonna winning. And you're going to continue to be miserable because I'm going to keep achieving because I'm God's favorite. I'm hilarious. My ass is fat. My pussy good. I'm smart. It's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. The coochie is squelching. Like, you're just going to keep being Squelching. There. Squelching. Didn't you call me squelching Miss Squelcherton last week? I called you the squelching squealer. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the hash ringing, the flash ringing. <laughs> Actually, but anyway, you bitches are terrible. I don't understand. I'm not. I do have people that I'm actively hoping misfortune happens. misfortune on. Oh, for but sure. I'm not keeping up with it. Yeah, I have the list. I consult my spite list every now and if again. If something awful, awful happens to you, it'll come across my desk. But I'm not looking. I'm for not updates. looking for it, and I'm also not trying to cause it. I'm also not trying to chat with yeah. other people about it. God found, gonna deal with you. I found out a friend that I'm not friends with anymore isn't with her dude anymore, and it wasn't like. Yes, and I don't like her, but it was just like as as per what I expected. 
And also, like, people break up. People break up. I don't know. Bitches are terrible. But yeah, that's it. Was just weird. I think for me, especially like because it's me. Like people didn't have nothing on me. Like the one thing that people always bring up to shade me is like, oh yeah, cause group me. Like bro, I was talking shit when I was nineteen, and I said what I said. I don't I'm even 47. remember being nineteen. Bro, <laughs> that was so long ago. So it was like finally we got some notes on this bitch. Ha, huh? you nigga was fucking up. But also like even with that, the story would get construed like yeah, cause he was fucking every bitch. I'm like no, that's that's not what happened. That's what you wish. And that's what helps you sleep at night, but people make it so weird. Stop. I don't, people, bitches are weird. <gasps> I forgot to talk about the bitches being weird that, that we call, I called you about when I was out of town. Yes. Bitches are weird. Yes. I can't even fully go into detail. Is there like a new development? It was no new development, but just like, bitches will watch everything that you do and just like wait for the opportunity for the weirdness to manifest. And I'm just, I can't even go into detail because I'm not even going to dignify it with a response. But it was just very, very strange and how it's weird. But I'm we got to, and see, that's the thing, like, when people talk to me about, like, how I'm, like, very confrontational and, you know, I don't mind, like, getting into it. People are, like, calling shit out. That's why I am so confrontational because the feeling that my face is being played in is so uncomfortable for me. So that's why when people are being weird, I'm like, oh, sorry. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but we got new mics. We got new mics. Listen, we got new mics. This one should be working. I'm gonna is it working? I'm going to stop tapping. But oh, that's... You can tap now. Oh, okay. Oh, we can... Cool, yeah. But, um... No, that's why when people are being weird to me, I always call it out. That's why I'm always like, what is happening right now? What is this? If I feel any sort of weird energy, because we got to start hitting hoes in the forehead again. That's really what it is. Mm -hmm. Bitches are not afraid to be hit. And that's just not, and not even a way, like, I'm just pussy. Like, that's just not my, I'm just not. You're just not that way. I'm just not like that. So just like, in the weirdness that happened, I was assessing the weirdness, but I didn't know how truly weird it was. Weird. Weird. (laughs) It was until later, and I'm just like, That'd be the worst when you think it again. Yeah, and it's just oh. like, and like the context of the weirdness made it even worse. I just thought it was like mildly weird. And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, this is a little strange, but whatever. I'll go Super my weird. Day. But when you get more layers to the weird, it's like, oh, you hold it's weird. Yeah. And especially like from what we just talked about, the weirdness. And then like, that's why like with this whole making Jada way to the face of dumbass bitches or whatever the fuck, just leave that girl alone. Jada don't bother nobody. Especially in the, in, in as black women, young black women who deal with a certain type of nigga, black Hollywood bitches, Jada Wade is the least of your fucking worries. Leave that bitch alone. Leave the girl alone. And it's, she seems sweet. I, I did say and maintain that I don't know her and would fuck her baby daddy. So I'm going to say I'm not, I'm not, also, I'm not walking that back. You but, know, however, the girl seems sweet. She seems like a sweet girl. But I think that may girl. be it too because do people might know baby themselves. Is that what it is? You also want baby to buy you a pink Jeep? I don't know what it is, but bitches get really, really weird with Jada. Well, girls are also covety and I think Mm -hmm. what is helpful is that what works for me is not going to work for you what works for me with me and my cheating ass baby daddy might not work for you and your niggas because you're not me and I don't mean that in a like big and myself up kind of way but in a way that just like different shit works for different people you clearly have bad luck with niggas and babies so your life is different than hers. Your energy, the shit you attract, all of that is different than hers. So leave I tried home. even to let that out your mouth is some dweeb ass, goober ass shit. I would never be like, oh, I tried to Melanie it. How mean? Like, damn, God, bitch. damn, bitch. Like, I thought this was a classy party. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, it was, it's just it's just nasty. But someone Walker, she a couple tacos short of a platter. It's not all put together. That was just she it. like when you eat. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 She like when you eat a Lunchable and you realize you don't have as much like cheese as you thought because it's like malfunctioning. Like they didn't put all the shit in there and you're like, what am I going to do with this cracker and this piece of meat? She's missing the cheese. She's missing stuff. You know how you don't eat your whole Lunchable? Mm-hmm. I never would either. I never liked the cheese on the cracker. I would eat the rest separately and I would eat all the meat together and I would eat my Butterfinger because I'm classy. I want you in a set. And I never ate the You're cheese. eating deconstructed Lunchable sandwiches? I like the lunch meat by itself. I like the Ritz by itself. I did not like the cheese. My cousin. That is disgusting. All five slices, he used to just chomp it. Just chomp it. And sometimes maybe eat the rest, but he was in it for the cheese. That is sick. <laughs> that is very sick and ill. I it, just ooh, don't I like do it. I don't like cheese by itself. I don't like cheese by itself. I used to when I was little, I would go in the, the fridge and I could only thing I could reach in there was the cheese. I would eat the cheese singles by itself. Then one day I woke up and never wanted cheese again like that. Um, I like to eat shredded cheese out of the bag sometimes. That's fun for me. Like shredded Parmesan. I like that. My cheese got to be on some meat, pause, and or hot. 
I don't like just regular cheese. We got so off topic. Sorry. But that leave was Jada way to alone. Th- you leave her alone. Like, that summer shit was so, I'm just like, not summer. Not summer. And it's Meech. And he musty. Y'all both musty. <laughs> like, this is not, come on now. I don't know. And it's only been like, what, six months? Your your life, it would, I think people's lives would just be so much better if you realized that, like, you running your own race. Whatever the next bitch got going on ain't got nothing to do with you, and that's why you're not doing well, because you're trying to look at other hoes while you running. Like, that, that, run that your just, own I'm race. I'm just still so sick, because it's like, now it's summer. Now, now we, we have the bobs, and I, I, I'm a summer fan. But now, why you bothering Jada? Also, what? her mentor slash godmother is also is Erica Badu. Badu. And they both, maybe they text, like, what are we going to do today? Just me. Because that shit Erica mean today. said about Beyonce, girl, shut the fuck up. And that wasn't even the same fucking kind you of You don't hat. own Afrofuturism. You don't own big hats. <laughs> you don't own none of that shit. You just got floor-length braids. Recently, you started doing that, wearing them floor-length braids. And Beyonce did that a couple years ago in Black is King. And if she was to get her ass on the internet, which that lady don't talk to nobody, she don't say nothing to nobody. But literally in the concert, she has a nod to Erica Badu in the concert. The way I would have took that shit off that song, don't play with me. Don't play with me. People just be bothering Beyonce, I think, for just like shits and giggles. And it's like, but it's the that same lady thing. don't be... When you happy and you just kind of moving and shaking, people just be looking for horrible shit to say. Because I promise you, nobody on Beyonce's style team... Look, you're not on the mood board, Erica. You you weren't. The whole era is silver, and she wear a big hat for that particular song. Get a silver one. Get over That's it. just it. That's just it. The only person who was justified in their Beyonce... Fuckery. Fuckery, I guess, was Khalees. That she and was, she could have handled it better. She could have handled it better, but she had a right to be upset about that. And yeah. that was mostly her anger towards for real. Yeah. And it's like, all right, you know what? The girls are fighting, yeah. and I, whatever. But even then, Beyonce just took the shit off the song and kept on moving. Like Control Z, go ahead, go ahead please. with your life, and that's fine. Know. Okay. Yes. Booty hole. What are we talking? I think we just did it. No, booty hole is the game. All the game. Okay. So you want to go first, or should I go first? The question is, what are you doing in your first 100 days as president if you were elected president? I am putting, we already talked about this, I'm putting men in concentration camps. Literally, I'm putting I was going to say them. jail, but like fun jail. Like, th- like you live here. It's just like a dormitory. It's going to be like and a just, federal prison. And you just prove your way out. It's going to be like Orange is New Black. They used to, they had resources. It's not going to be as inhumane, and they're not going to yeah, be in cages. Yeah, real food, like, good food. You're going to have food. They're, I'm going to even let y'all have like a PlayStation. Pri- like a private school style I will jail. let y'all have Xboxes and PlayStation. You can have your Madden in 2K. There will be internet. You cannot get on social media. But and, you can and you have. you can only read certain books. Yes. I will. We will have a curated mm-hmm. library. There will be certain words that cannot be said. You will be in sensitivity training from 8 to 5. I love this. You will be, we have to teach, voc- there will be vocabulary words, spelling tests. Mm-hmm. Okay, things not to say. These niggas can't spell. The stop scaring the whole seminar. Mm-hmm. We should just do that. We should just do a stop scare, like in real life, a stop scaring the whole. But seminar. we would have to. Niggas are not gonna willingly go. We and will have to trap them. It's gonna be like, oh, scared. we got the fucking, I don't know, free pussy and, and wings conference. <laughs> pussy and wings conference. <laughs> they go, oh hell yeah, I love pussy and wings. It's like, gotcha, bitch. Okay, now stop being mean to bitches. Yes. So we would have to trap them and just like. <laughs> You know on Family Guy when they fucking trapped uh, James Woods. He's like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of no, candy. I don't watch Family Guy. I really thought I had a friend right there. You do have a friend. Dexter, just... do you watch Family Guy? I love Family Guy. Thank you. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Thank you, fucking Dexter. Why are you mad at? What you mad at? Last week was the bare fingers. <laughs> this week is the fact <laughs> no, that. No, so you find a new way to upset me every week. You so, wasted a goddamn Butterfinger. I don't eat Butterfingers. Why not? I don't like them. Why not? I don't fucking know. Butterfingers are delicious. All right, so, I don't like Butterfingers. Anyway, I'm not really a candy girl either. Candy girl, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's what it would be. I would have men in extensive, and then you have to fight for your freedom. Feels murdery though. Some of these niggas need to get the fuck up out of here. Some, <laughs> that's why I'm like, okay, never mind. You gotta. Rhymes with Schmurder. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Some what of else? these what we else? can't say. Like, you know how Dr. Umar said? Like, some of them just need to be so, and I hate to agree with Dr. Umar on sense. Broken clock. We are, all know that. He's so terrible, He's though. so awful. Oh, he's but the some worst. of them we just can't say. Yeah. So, we we going to try our best. Yeah. And then we, and then we just release like them. That. 
one by one. Did you see the niggas on the Twitter mad, mad that the, the damn dog, dog got the lamb chops? You mad at a dog? Oh, speaking of dog barking, this dog that was here earlier had on a vest, and he looks like Jodeci. Oh, look, look at a little baby. Don't he look just like Jodeci? Yeah, and all in the facial Because he's, he, they said Doberman and Pit. So Aww. that pit is right up yeah, in here. Yeah, coming right there. He do look that's, like my, my baby cousin. That's Jodeci cousin. But, um, no, the niggas was you so mad about the lamb chops, and it's like, bro. Then they were implying, like, bestiality, like, in the comments. And, and you would cook for him, but not a black man. Like, shut the fuck. Did you see that one tweet where the girl was like, niggas saw a dog eating lamb chops and said, I'm unemployed and smelly and loud, too. <laughs> why can't I have a lamb chop? <laughs> and this is why, like, <sighs> something needs to be done. And then once it works in America, I'm going straight to South Africa. I'm going, I mean, straight. Baby. We are repurposing wherever Nelson Mandela was. And y'all are going straight Some in Some of them, first of all, I tried all my <laughs> might to check the location of tweets before <laughs> I engage. But the other day, I I'm going did straight it. straight over there. And oh my God. Th- that's where that, the, one of the main tweets was from there. Jesus What's Lord. going on over there? I don't know. Misa- misogyny. I mean, yeah. But like, it's like a different kind of brand. Also, it's it, that you, I, mm, I, I think it's that we think that the way that our men behave in America is like an American problem and men are better other places. They're, they're not. not. They're and not. I think we blame a lot of it on white supremacy, which is a big factor in it. But mm-hmm. also like it's some homegrown motherland misogyny that's just crazy. Yeah. Um, I and, think mm, what globally with this like the way that men are, like, treating women and, like, this kind of, like, red pill the, thing yeah, and all this it's energy. A, it's a disease. It's a disease, but it's also just really shines a light on the fact that, like, even the most pro-blackiest of men really just want to be oppressors. Like, y'all really Like just, fucking Ice Cube on, oh on fucking God. Fox News? Was it Tucker Carlson? I refuse to real? watch it. I refuse to watch it. Oh, I didn't watch it at all. Yeah. But it's like, and then it was, girl. So, yeah, did you see the death threats I was getting for the Derrick Rose tweet? No, I did some see somebody curse your womb though. Yeah, my womb was getting cursed. Someone said they hope my bloodline abruptly um, ends Ooh. because I said I hope this nigga's knees don't heal. And like he's a raper. He's a raper. Like if we're in a society where we yes. can't wish bad things on rapers because they play good balls, I don't know what. Yeah, I don't. What I we only can deleted do. not because I'm pussy, but like you're not about to sit here. And tell me to, I'm gonna get murdered. Like I'm just, no. I'm just, we're just not doing this over yeah. fucking basketball players. So those will be the first to go. And then he very much explicitly says that he does not or did not respect or understand consent. Like didn't even know what it was. Didn't even know what it was. So it's like, yeah, that you do rapes, brother. Like maybe yeah, people don't is, want think good things for you. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna wish you. Was, oh, he got off. There, so now y'all, now y'all little, trust justice. There's very little that men will condemn other men for. And yeah. I've seen it in real time. I saw it all throughout college. I see it now. Yeah. I see it in workplaces. There's very little that men will righteously be like, yeah, the way that you feel about this is is fair because he's a raper. Like, you rarely ever see that. Like, if a person was accused of something and they got off, it seems like they don't have the mental acumen to understand that that does not mean that that person... No, they understand it, because if a white cop got got off for killing a black man, they fully understand Ooh. that Ooh. he's still guilty. Well, but, oh, well. he got... Bro- oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And also, the only thing I've ever seen men band together and condemn is Gunna for snitching. And he took an Alfred plea. That's a different thing. Leave Y'all don't know... Gunna he- the fuck alone. What's These- his name, Sergio? You leave Sergio alone. These niggas don't know anything about the law. They don't know nothing about the, They only know whatever their internet daddy tells them at the time or their rapper daddy tells them at the time. Get your own fucking backbone, you weird bitch. I'm bitches. sitting weird. Yeah, I'm, I sit hunched over sometimes because my titties. titties so heavy. Them titties. But um, I'll hold. Like, if I could just rent some titties, just hold them for you for a day. I I would never accept it back. If you rent hey, some titties hey, with me, hey, I'm just trying to pay your titties back. Nope. Click, click. But, <laughs> <Shuffle pig. laughs> but no, um... He took an Alfred plea. I know niggas don't know what that means, but it's not snitching. Yeah. It's that, oh, you mean I don't have to go to jail for 100 years and I could just not? Not. Sure. Perfect. He didn't do nothing. He, he wasn't people. in there eating. Thug would detail chaos. every murder in the song. And I'm sorry. I just want to talk a little bit about snitching. I'm not going to jail. If there's any chance that I'm not going to prison, Big P it. prison, the penitentiary, the clink. Pushing I'm, P. I'm 
going to tell. I don't care who I have to tell on. I don't have to care if I have to start my life over. I don't care if I got to move, witness I'll protection. On anything, I'm not anyone. going to jail for you niggas, bruh. I'm not. I don't, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm and, sorry. And God is way too bad of a bitch to be in prison. He really just needed to sit down for a second because he came out. Keeper, I don't, don't want to link. <laughs> he came out snatched, honey. Baby. I'm, nah, nah, I'll, I'll do a bid right. for that. What, what Russell How Westbrook said, he said, I'll give me a little bite. <laughs> give me a little bite. What I got to do? Can I get, rip the tag off a mattress real quick and just go to little, <laughs> just <flip laughs> go to little jail? <laughs> Boom. <gasps> no, that commercial? when um, unnamed friend, I will tell you later, went to jail, I'd never seen him so in shape in my life. He was in jail for three months. Came out fucking ripped, bro. I mean, fuck. <gasps> like, that nigga came out so no slow. And I think he was just working out so people wouldn't talk to him. Like, I think he was just in there trying to focus on what he was doing so motherfuckers wouldn't have conversations with him. Ripped. Ripped. And he was batting the brothers off that booty. I was about to say, I don't, <laughs> don't want to get any phobic or nothing, but I'm like, you got to protect. And, yeah, protect your assets. Um, um, we got letters. Okay, let me tell y'all something real quick. So we're going to do letters. If you want to send us a letter, email us at jokesonyoupod at gmail.com. Now, put letter in all caps in the subject. So we can we can find it easily because we have a lot of emails and also you better fucking bring it in that subject because we get so much so many letters now. <laughs> and pure. Everybody can't get read. So you gotta really pull us in with the subject and that first you know how when you write essays for them standardized tests and they take mm-hmm. their intro? Mm-hmm. You better fucking bring it, bitch. Yeah. Okay? So we we're can't at, read all of we them. We can't now. read all of them, but we also do wanna have a letters episode. Yeah. Um so please They'll can, probably all get read then. Yeah, the ones so we're gonna read two today yeah. or one. Two. Or do you want to do one and then one on the next episode? We have a lot less than two. But we got do how much time do we have left in this episode? Because we got we haven't gotten to the topic yet. That is fair. Yeah. This is pretty long. Okay, yeah. we'll do this one. Um so we're gonna do one now, one for the next episode, and then on the letters episode, which will be the next time oh, we this record. Oh, this is one. Huh. I'm not we're not reading that. We're not reading it. Uh uh They say keep it anonymous. Redact it. Don't you come Don't you come on here calling, calling aunties. us aunties no more. I am a young spry chicken, and that was mean. I didn't. I saw hey aunties. I don't think I've been. We're in. not even that because if you old enough to be listening to this, we're not old enough to be your fucking. We're auntie. not old enough to be yo auntie. If you listening to this, pissing right. me off. I'm big cousin at best. At, I mean, fun, at, at fun, most, big, cool cousin. Fun, cool cousin. Okay, but so we're not reading that one. All right, send it again with it's, a different salutation. And, and send it nice. Do you want me to do it or are you gonna do um, it? Um, we can do this. <clears throat> well, I can do this. Okay. Hey, Tally and Mel. Big fan of the pod. I'm definitely a part of the Midnight YouTube crew. Burr, 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 burr. Y'all are hilarious AF and are so good to look at. <laughs> I wish both of you success and riches when it comes to life. And this podcast shit sits because, I mean, shit because y'all deserve it the most. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. My question is, how do y'all break up with a friend that is not your motherfucking friend? Do you find the need to have a sit-down conversation with her? Or do you play the relationship dust, block and follow, and move on with your life? Backstory. Okay, it's going to be good because I just I had to do this. Um, a couple years ago, and it's I'm getting so much vindication now. It's mm-hmm. amazing because everyone's like catching on how terrible she is. Love that for me. Do you want me are we switching back and forth? Oh, you can go. Go ahead. Okay. Tag you in. Okay. Backstory. I met this girl who is my soror at a Greek picnic about two years ago. She was so much fun, cool to be around, and ended up moving to the same city I lived in. A year later, I moved in with my man and introduced them because I was always with her. Excuse me. Gross. And <laughs> we ended up always hanging out. After that, shit started getting weird. On my ex's birthday, we went to the strip club, and he drunkenly told me that he would love to have a threesome with me and say a friend. I told him absolutely not, and even the next day, I told him that comment made me very uncomfortable. I also noticed she would text him questions that she could have asked me, which made me feel weird, but I didn't want to sound hella insecure with bringing it up. I told him that made me feel very uncomfortable, and I asked him to stop, which he agreed. Fast forward, me and old boy broke up because he put his hands on me, yeah. and it was a, um, see me after class. <laughs> Um, no, for real. No, for real. Uh, actually, you you email us more because I need details um, for violence and crimes. Ooh, that made me mad. Um, put his hands on me, and it was a toxic situation being with him anyway. A few months later, he said he had plans for her birthday. Uh, a few months later, said That's friend funny. had plans for her birthday and invited me, but I couldn't go last minute. She got very upset and started talking shit on IG. I felt so, how old are y'all? I felt some type of way because I hate when people run to the internet to express their problems or feelings about someone instead of just calling them directly. I have bubbles because I've been drinking this sparkling water. Sorry. Later on that day, two of my other friends asked me if I knew that my ex was invited to a kickback she planned at her apartment for her birthday. Obviously, I didn't know I was pissed about it because why would you not tell me? Also, why would you invite him knowing everything that went down with me and him? Long story short, we talked about it. She was very apologetic. We moved on, but in the back of my mind, ho, I can't trust you, and I'm going to put some distance between us. Period. Currently, we don't talk every day. We really only talk maybe twice a month. She always finds a way to ask me for $20 or $30 every month. 
since the beginning of the year. I've only gave her like $20 once. Every other time, I just ignored the text. This month, she asked me for $30. I ignored that text, but when I checked her IG store, she posted something about being flewed out to ATL by a man for like two days. I want to break up with this girl because she's not my friend. I just want to block and move on. I literally have no interest in talking it out or fighting because neither of them are worth my energy. What would y'all do? Okay, pictures. For, pictures. We love mess. We love mess. I got to know which organization is this. I mean, I think AKA's are pretty terrible, but we'll find out. I wonder who's who. Yeah, who is who? Y'all both pretty. Yeah, very pretty. God damn it. The last two not loading. Oh, hit it. Go right here. Hit the Instagram. Okay. So is that her or? I don't know who's who. Who is who? Email us back and tell us who's who. Oh, wait. Well, she is the name on the email. Yeah, but the name. Ain't showing up in the... So, this not the name that the email. This must be the other girl. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to see what organization is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, my first thing that I want to say to that, I want to talk very quickly about bitches communicating with your person or, like, with your ex-person. I think that there is usually always some turbulence when your friend and your partner become friends outside of you. I'm so mad that I was right. Was it? Huh? <laughs> I guess it's, but I didn't want to be problematic by guessing that. Oh, but I was brother. Right. I was right. <laughs> you were right. I was right. That's but why anyway, I, didn't say nothing. Um, okay, I think that there's always some like semblance of problems when your friend and your partner become friends. But like your friend should not be texting your man. Just like unless it's something about you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're planning something. Y'all are planning something for the girl in question. Like your friend. Are you listening to me? Are we talking? You distracted? <laughs> I'm lurking on the girl page. I didn't even know Instagram did this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Which is why I'm so glad that I do not. I do not do any I can't photo even show shopping. Y'all. I'm so sorry. We can't show y'all. But listen. I did not know that. That's why I'm glad I don't Photoshop my pictures because apparently Instagram will tell you <laughs> if a person is doing when like. flag this with like clearly some. I don't know, but that's just funny that to have crazy. on your photograph. Oh, that's funny. Jesus Christ, that's awful. But anyway, as I was saying, come back to the conversation, girl. I'm sorry. But um, no, your friend should not be texting your man unless it's something that he needs help with like planning Happy for you or like help right. me pick out an engagement ring or it's her birthday and I want to do ABC or your or, friend tripping or your right your friend <laughs> correct <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be like you shouldn't be texting hey my, girl what you doing today I don't I don't see I'm very man. possessive please don't get your head knocked in like a watermelon <laughs> because you want to fuck around. I don't like that. I don't also, like, especially if she knows that you were harmed by this man physically uh, and you still keep keying with this nigga. I don't trust bitches who do that. A bitch who will invite a nigga who hit you somewhere will do anything to you she and does do, not care about you. That's at that Kelsey all. shit. Hell yeah. no. Don't I mean does not care about you one bit. At all. It's not enough apologizing because bitch you knew. There's and see you and see that's why I go back to we gotta start hitting bitches again because that's the only that's the only way you, your type, I know what you are. That's the only way you're gonna understand <laughs> that is some what vile has shit. happened here. You're vile. And then um they're fucking also, I just want to say, for sure, they're, they've done or and are then doing to, sex. To, to use her gnarled fingers to ask you for twenty to ask thirty dollars. Hey, bitch, I'm sorry. You need twenty dollars. Asking for twenty dollars is so gutter, but like from a friend, I'm I may at least ask for fifty to one hundred if I if I need that. Not girl. even that. Twenty or thirty dollars is what you ask your nigga for, just like on some. I'm bored and I want twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> bored and I want thirty dollars, and I don't want to pay for my own food. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. I'm at Chick Fil A. Let me see if I can not buy this myself. You know, and ask for some money. If you come to me and you need some money, I need you to need. I want. Uh, is your air conditioner out? <laughs> I need you to need like five hundred dollars. I need you to need. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Twenty dollars is so petty, and it's like this is crack money because. You worried about me, and you you worried about texting my my boyfriend and my ex. You ain't going on down to the Amazon warehouse. <laughs> you what the fuck you got going on? <laughs> Ask that nigga for twenty dollars since you texting him all the time. Why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? For, 
And just honestly, and people don't like to admit it, I like, I am very comfortable with admitting when I am jealous and when I am being prideful. I would rather peel the skin off my fingernails like a grape than ask you for $20. I'm too fucking proud. There is no You gotta way. really be in the bind. And even if you don't Ain't need no it. bond, Mel. Ain't no bond on this here earth where I'm coming to you. For, this for 20, the power dynamic in the friendship changes. You will always be able to say, no matter where my life goes from there, you needed $20. bitch, remember when you needed $20 and I gave you $20? There's no hope Ask on this. $12,000. Ain't no like, bitch right. on this earth yeah. outside of maybe when I was younger and we was eating Taco Bell and shit and, and drinking Mad Dog. Ain't no bitch on this earth since I've been a real can adult say I can say I needed $20. Well, no. When I was having hard times, Britt did come through. That's true. When I was having hard times, I was not doing well. She did come through. I think it was like 50. But, but I can respect but 50. I can, I can respect 50. 20? 20 dollars? Yeah. But no, she she held it down when I wasn't doing good. That's true though. <laughs> now we might not be together no more. But, but that 50 but that 50 dollars you pulled me through. <laughs> but 20 dollars is crazy. 20 is great. Twenty dollars is crazy. Unless we both struggling and we just passing the same twenty dollars back and forth. Okay. That's different. We gotta ask answer the question in here. Should she block? Should she say something? Should she what should she do? I think we're gonna have different answers. So I want you to go first. For me and my friend breakup, when the the final straw fuck shit happened and she came to apologize, I was like, you know what, baby? I'm good, nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm all right. We ain't gotta do this no more. Mm-hmm. You are free. I think we're good. For me, I just cannot let shit pass without letting people know where they had me fucked up. And at. that's the other thing. She has to know. Like, you just blocking and unfollowing and move on. She going to go on her life thinking that, oh, she's just being weird, whatever. You got to let a bitch like this know exactly what she has fucked up. And she's going to make up whatever story she wants to if you don't emphatically and explicitly say, this is why I don't fuck with you no more. You got to make and it clear. Then, and uh, a bitch like that going to make up her own reason anyway. And in the realty, this threesome shit. It leads me to believe that they already fucked. Because it says here, um, da, 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 when some, he drunkenly told me that he would love to have a threesome with said friend. Then the next sentence is, I also noticed she would text him questions that she could have asked me. Let me tell you what these niggas and these bitches be doing with these threesomes. Let me put you up on game. They be trying to organize a threesome with you just to put out in the air that they are sexually attracted to each other. They do the threesome with you, and they've either already been fucking or plan to fuck without you. So that way, when it's happening, it's like, come on, what do you want? You know, uh, come on. We they had just, the threesome, and I wanted some more. They're like, just using you as capital for them to fuck together. Mm-hmm. That's personally how I feel about it. Or to make them feel better about it. Because a threesome... Well, she's here, but she's... A pillow, basically. I, I think a threesome happening organically is the only... And you know, again, that's not really my jam. But I think a threesome happening organically is the only way that if I was interested in it... That How I does w- a threesome happen organically? I mean, I think that it can happen. I, I mean, I've not I've not get, been involved... Get a load of Dickie McDickerton over Dickie McDickerton over here. <laughs> Niggas in a pussy sandwich over here. <laughs> He's like, pussy's popping out of pockets, pussy's left, just pussy, right, just pussy, pussy everywhere. everywhere. But um, anyway, um, if it happens organically, like, I'm not attracted to that boy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm... I mean, I think you're pretty, but, like, I don't want to hunt you. But, like, if you're hanging out with, like, Everybody a, wants to fuck me. Come on now. Uh, you know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't I'm know. hot. You're hot, but in, like, you fuck me? you're hot in the way that, like. You'll fuck me? <laughs> you know Miami boys? I w- uh, you'll fuck me? I mean, I'm also a slut. So, me saying that I will fuck you, I mean. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I mean, don't. but you don't. I mean, you, you're not gay. So, I don't, I don't see you like that as well. Like, but, okay, like, we're all drunk. Me, you, that we're, boy. Right, we're all drunk. That could happen to where it's like, you know what? Y'all looking real fuckable right now. And y'all be like, cool, twins. But even that is still kind of like, I feel like most reasons are premeditated. It ain't got to be a, hello, I would like to bring I my mean, penis I mean, I also don't want to hang out with a bitch that wants to fuck my man under yeah. any circumstances. And that's really just the underlying issue of this you, whole thing. You wanting to take dick from, and even if your man is hot, because bitches be having hot niggas, and I'm, yeah. nobody's finna front like a bitch not hot when they are. But like, you wanting, you being willing to take dick from my man, knowing that any number of things could happen after that, who knows the trajectory of what's going on after yeah. that? It's not good. Yeah. So that means, in my mind, that you're willing to stop fucking with me to take some dick from this nigga. And I'll kill your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, fair. that's crazy. It's like, I, I don't want nobody else, man. I, I don't. Well, I be wanting other people, man. But yeah, if I know you, I don't want your man. I'll be fair. If I that. know you, I don't want your man. And also, if I think your man is hot 
early into the friendship, there is a limit to which I can really like, like fuck hey, with you and hang out with you. It's fine. So I right. Y'all have fun. I'm gonna go right. home. Right. Because it's it's certain people. And certain girls I know, I legit just can't hang out with you because I would take that nigga up through there <laughs> at any given moment. I can't be your Where are we friend. going? What Glow say? I can't, be, I can't be up in her face. I took her nigga hey, down before. Like I, that, that is honor to me. Yeah, and it's and it's rare that I see somebody whose man is actually fine like that. That you niggas just don't can't, be fine no more. Hey, y'all, niggas don't me. be fine. It's like hot that. in here. Can we turn that fan it back is on? Hot. I know it is we hot. can hear it. We could just back it up. Yeah, could y'all turn the fan back on? Oh, it, matter, it don't matter where it is. It's going here. Okay, well, okay, we, what's we hot? Start I'm burning up. I'm thin, um, I'm thin and burning you, up. I'm delirious and shit. No, I didn't bring it with me. I'm I'm sweating so bad. I'm sweating through this dress. Oh my god. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, yeah. Oh Jesus. But um, yeah. I say all that to say that's weird. So, I bitch is weird. If she say something else to you or like, you just gotta figure out to be to how to be like, hey. I wouldn't nah. reach out anymore. So the next Definitely time she asks out. you for some money, that because she's probably going to, that is when I would bring it up. But I wouldn't be like, and this is why I don't fuck with you. It's not worth all that. Yeah, it, this it's the yeah. first, so I'm sure she'll um, come around. It's money needing time. Yeah, so just be like, hey, stinker butt, um, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. It ain't got to be all of that. It ain't got to be no rah-rah. It ain't got to be. Uh, I'm, but explain. I'm good because ABC. You fuck my nigga, and you ain't got to tell me. Because I know. Because I know. Right. You weird, and you always asking for $20. You always asking for $20. And, yeah. And if you ask, it's one thing to be in a bind every once in a while, but it's the monthly $20 ask. Asking me for $20 and fucking my nigga or wanting to fuck my nigga is crazy. Pick one. Pick. You can't do all that. It's too much. It's too much. Um, Imagine. Bitch, just do anything. Okay, let's anyway, get to the sorry. topic. We're going to have three minutes to cover the topic. I'm sure we have. <laughs> I don't mind if, if they don't mind. I don't mind, I don't mind the longer episodes. If oh, I don't, don't get yeah, it. We're, happen, having, so we're having a great time. I don't care. Huh? Yeah, okay, we're well, fine. Yeah. Suck it. Okay, so what we're talking about today is lying. lying. Yes. Lying. Yes. Okay, so what's the wildest lie you ever told or heard? And or. You can do one or the other or you can do both. Heard. So, like, let me preface this by saying, like, I'm not going to have a lot to contribute to, for my personal lies because, like, I think part of my tiz is is that part of my autism? I know what test is. Okay, I I took the test. I'm gonna get my official test, and even if they say I'm not autistic, I'm still gonna run with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I gotta make my appointment. But yeah, I can't lie for mm-hmm. real. So it's like we I gotta really be up against the wall, and it gotta be some life shattering shit for me mm-hmm. to lie, and especially to keep it up. Yeah. So the craziest lie, um, is one that was told on me. I had someone going around Houston saying that they were my line sister. And that um, that they were my line sister, and that I didn't do shit for AKA, and they did, and was like, and this person wasn't your line sister. This person is not an AKA, not my line sister. Was not enrolled That's in Florida A and M in the spring of two thousand thirteen. But this is somebody who has never liked me. But it's like you have created this entire monster in your head that you decided, you know what I'm gonna do, make up. So and she's a whole new city where people don't know. And, like, so she was talking to my friend. I have a friend from high school who knew her in Houston. Uh-huh. She was like, yeah, because your line sister X, Y, Z. I was like, that girl is not my fucking line sister. What are you talking about? Uh-huh. And she looked like she had saw a ghost. Because I'm like, what? She was like, we would be around. I have another friend who's AK, and she'd be like, yeah, Brit, Brit, because, like, your friend, uh, Mel, like, your soror girl, like, she is blah, blah, blah. I'm just, so she had, like, a, it was, like, a very padded, like. She's ill, though, mentally. Has to be. Like, it was not crazy. Even me funny that, per- that she's ill. No, like, it was the craziest thing I've ever heard about myself. And that's when I had to really let go of what people thought about me. Because it's like, people are insane. That's just, I can't. I, 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 that's I was obsessive. Af- I was afraid for my life. Because it's like, you would do anything. If you, It's one thing to I'm, be, like, I'm, to pretend to be a part of an organization. But why am I in it? And why are you saying, like, that you know me and we have, like, a relationship? Like, or we had a relationship. Or that... And then I didn't do shit for AKA. That's me? the part that offends you most. <laughs> no, it, no, it is. Because, like, it's one thing to say that I'm your line sister and I don't like you or that you don't like me, which is fair. Fair. Yeah. And to add this whole fan fiction, that shit was nutty as fuck. No, that shit's crazy. So that was, like, scary. That was probably the craziest lie I've ever heard about myself, especially. And it's, like, it was easy to, the one I got a million line sisters. It's like, bitch, I don't know who your line sister is. I don't know who, mm-hmm. how to cross reference this. And you don't. You didn't give me, send me your, all your lances in the Excel sheet. So how am I supposed to know? So right. I don't blame my friend for, like, believing Not knowing, it. Yeah. And she don't want to bring it to me because, like, clearly I don't fuck with this girl. So, like, right. I'm like, no, she was never my line. That's sister. crazy. It was a lot. She'll murder somebody. That's crazy. Easily. I think certain lies put me in a position where I look at people like, you'll really kill, like, you'll really do something crazy. Like, you'll really kill me. The wildest lie I ever heard about myself, which is so funny because 
I've always been very honest about like who I am and things that I've done. And you know, I do this whole like, oh, I'm a slut. I'm a hoe. I'm really not. I just be fucking who I want to fuck. It should be fun. About my life. It's just funny. Same, same. It's funny to say. And you gonna call me a slut anyway? Right. When I was at Alabama State. People lie, men lied on my pussy so crazy, which thank God I'm so good in bed because niggas who actually fuck me would clock it and be like, no, you didn't. There's no way that that sexual experience happened with that person. So I thank God that I put on a great show. But um, one rumor going around, I think girls had started it with, there was the line of alphas that was on campus that was, they were like grown. They were like older when I was there. It was like 20 of them niggas. And I was dating one of them. And the... Um, rumor was that I had fucked all of them. All of them? I don't know if the rumor was supposed to be at the same time or just at different intervals, but the rumor was that I fucked all 20 of them. Mind you, the ace is five foot one. <laughs> Are y'all fucking crazy? <laughs> and when I now, heard it, I was now, like... Now, not too much on the aces. I don't put a couple aces down in my day. I was so like, I just... did what? And I love hearing rumors. But they were tall aces. Oh my goodness, he was not a tall ape. He was tiny. I was like, I I didn't excuse me. What do you mean? All oh, of them? I was like, oh my God. Then this other guy, this cap lied on me because I had actually fucked somebody he knew. And I guess so he was like, Yay, me too. Like I'll just say I did it. So he was just going around just like offering up the the fact that he had fucked me. And I just called it out in the cab. I was like, hey, you fucked me. <laughs> hey. Uh, you, you fucked me. You get the you, fat chicken you, on you, Wednesday. You, you. you fucked me. And then he just crumbled in front of everybody. Because, like, bro, why are you lying on my put? And you cute. I would have done it for real. I would have done That's it. That's like easy A. So you could have just not done this and asked me for some coochie. And I would have been like, you know Sure. I got it. I got some. You just had you. to be a weird you ass bitch. You had nigga. to be a weird ass bitch. But the, the wildest lie I ever heard. So you were there the night that I met, and we're dead. He, yes, and he. Oh damn, whatever. It, hey, what's it the time? Like, it don't um, bother me. Fuck that nigga. Actually, yeah, fine, fuck, whatever. Fuck these niggas. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with saying their names because you shouldn't have did that shit. You're disgusting. Yeah, go ahead. But the night that I met, well, not the night that I met. The next day after he had slid in my DMs or whatever, we was talking on the phone, and he just told me like, um, that he, I think he said he lived with, he had a roommate. That's what he told me. He said he had a roommate, and I think. In my mind, I thought he was telling me that because at the time the economy was different. And, you know, we used to really be like, nigga got a roommate, you grown, like, ill, you know, and he's 30 something, you know, so I'm just like, gross. And I think that he thought that that's what I would think. But, like, obviously, you're not gonna be able to hide the fact that you, like, live with another person. And I never really wanna be the girl fucking a nigga with a roommate. I don't wanna be around no other nigga for real. I got, you, you know, you can't walk own. around naked in your Right, opinion. cool, yeah. I'm all set. So, um,. I never thought anything of it, and we started fucking shortly after that. And the, I'm sorry, the dick had me in a tizzy, had me in a bind. I would have believed anything that this nigga said. <laughs> anything that he said, I would have been like, sure, sure, got it. So come to find out, this he lives with a bitch. Like, <laughs> he's got a person. And I don't know how I, like, figured it out or how it came about, but, like, this nigga ended up telling me, you know, we not to, and this, this is why I stuck around. This is why I stayed because by the time I figured it out, the pandemic was pandemicking. And so his whole reasoning was everything going on with the pandemic. Like it's difficult for people to move right now. Niggas like, was eating that pandemic. Niggas was eating that pandemic shit up. He's like difficult to move right now. So it's just easier for, we, you know, we got a lease easier for her to stay where she at me stay where Fair. I'm at. Sure. And it's just cool. So I was like, gang, because I wasn't even really taking it that like seriously because I was just hunching and eating for free. Like I was just really having a good time. That's all you can ask for. That's really. all you can ask for. Baby. Did people was engaged. Baby. <laughs> These niggas will lie in between two drops These, of rain. I have never heard. He he said, and I quote, she's the equivalent to a piece of furniture of me in that house. I don't see her. I don't notice her. We talk about bills, and that's it. I think Can you men, imagine a nigga being somewhere telling another bitch you're the equivalent that you are to an a, ottoman? You are a footstool? That's crazy. You are a nightstand. He, you... But the thing with men is like, how do these niggas sleep? And I'm sure with their mouth open, snoring, but like peacefully, peacefully. It was like I, I still he 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 needs to teach a course. I have never. He was at my house nearly every day. I don't know how that either. She's the dumbest person on the planet. Or like, or like you are a shapeshifter because he was always at my home. But honestly, always. not that I've watched the Marvel, and he was fucking somebody else too. 
And God knows who else. And God knows who else. Now that I watch the Marvel Scrolls shit, like, these niggas might really be super villains. Like, I think they might be aliens. Like, you know, okay, so they announced the aliens, mm-hmm. right? These niggas have to be aliens. There's no That's way that they're just getting, getting away with all of this shit. That, that may not even be him. That may have been Bleep Warp now. <laughs> What's the girl? Kendra <laughs> Bland is the funniest bitch. She's like, ah, ah, blah, 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 blah. that was. Ah, I mean, ah, honestly, I, to this day, because I'm not, I'm not a simple bitch. It's hard to get shit completely past me. You know what I'm saying? Like outside of the shit that happened with Brendan, I've never seen no shit like that in my life. That was some next level. That shit was some too. next level shit. And then why am I meeting all the masterminds? Because I, can, I to this day cannot put it together. Like the Brendan situation makes sense to me because it's long distance. You got room to move and shake. Me and you live in the same city, buddy, and you're here every day. My, that's how. How do men find the time to do shit like that? I don't know, man. How? Y'all are liars. Y'all so how liars. Do y'all do it? How do men be lying like that and be all in different places at one time with different bitches? Why are you looking like we're not talking to you? Dexter, please. And you see how you see how these two act like they don't hear shit, right? And he got the headphones on. I know he can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> These two refused mm-hmm. to engage. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. They was lying before social media. That's correct. No, I mean, let me tell you something. My yeah. dad, <laughs> my dad, my father could lie to a bitch so smooth. Oh my God. I have never seen no sh- And the thing is, I think they are Delulu. They believe the lie. So like, I watched my d- father tell a woman a complete and total untruth. And in my mind, at like seven, I'm like, there's no way this grown adult lady is finna believe this bullshit. And then that grown adult lady will believe that bullshit. My dad used to drop me off at this lady house who he was fucking to go fuck another bitch. The girl had a daughter. So, like, he would drop me off over there so I could, like, hang out with her daughter. And then he would be on some, like, I got to go do some shit or I got to go blah, 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 whole time. Because my dad told me the truth. So he'd be like, if you need me, because didn't have, we didn't have phones. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the time, what? I have something to say that's going to upset you. Don't. Don't do it. I have to say it. No, you don't. No, I do. I will walk out of the studio. <laughs> so you remember know you when Jagged Ass broke up on the radio <laughs> and he just walked out? I have to say it. I will leave. Do you know how you said that you believe anything? So you believe? Oh, <laughs> please. Your daddy was putting them bitches between the washer oh. and the dryer, and they were believing. I don't believe this shit. I don't believe this shit. I won't leave you. You think I won't break? You? Come I back. Will. Come Um, we're gonna have to. Um, Don't ever hear <laughs> that. Are you crazy? You're trying to give me a fucking stroke? <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck up! <laughs> Move! Move. <laughs> and don't lean on my chair! <laughs> You've pissed me off. And I can't say things about your dad. This is unfair. I can't talk about your dad. Oh, you can! Because he's all resting and stuff. But don't upset me. I don't even want to talk anymore. Let's move on. Let's move on. No, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Don't touch me. And don't look at me. <laughs> don't. You get your, your fucking hands away from me. But they didn't believe it either. I think there's a certain level of cognitive dissonance we have as women. No, don't try to make it smart and change it now. No, I'm making it. Don't, making don't try to intro the flawless to me now. Don't. You teach girls to shrink <laughs> no, You bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. You. Ooh, you pissed me off. <gasps> You've upset me. Hmm. Anyway, we're gonna move on. <laughs> um, what are your go-to lies? <sighs> I got a headache. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you deserve it. Uh, what are your go-to lies? Oh man, um, I'm fine. You're what? Oh, that's I'm a, fine. Like when you're that's not my, fine. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty big lie for yeah. me. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I do that one too. I do. I'm fine a lot. I also like blame. Like, okay, this is not great. And I clearly won't be able to do it anymore because <laughs> the jig is up. I'm going to say it now. Um, I can't. I blame not being able to do things on my other friends to my friends. So, like, say. I've been seeing through your bullshit for a while, friend. Oh, oh man. <laughs> so, like, say, say, like, you asked me to do some shit. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I got plans with Rita. That's the thing. That's why I'd be so frustrated with your ass. We'll talk about it later. Because I'm like, no, you're not busy. I don't really do that do too it. often. But you, you, not, you be doing it. See? But I mean, you the least. 
but you be doing it. Yeah, I just told the truth. I said it. But yeah, so I, I lie like that a lot. Um, my, also, one of my favorite lies is when dudes be like, whose pussy is this? I just be saying yes. Yeah. And it's yours. I don't know, man. What do you want from me? Awkward question. Very awkward question to ask during sex. It's almost always exclusively a lie. But like, why do you want... Why? Men you are simple. not sure. Did you pay for it? No. Period. Um, oh, that was funny. Um, was it? Mm. You lying know. to parents. I lie to my mom constantly. I'm sorry. The juice don't be worth the squeeze of telling the truth sometimes, and you don't need to know the truth about this thing that you're inquiring about. So no. I'm just... Oh, what are you doing tonight? It's, why? I'm going to sleep. What does it matter? What does it matter? Because if I tell you I'm finna eat mushrooms off this man's dick, then, <laughs> then, then it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Not only mushrooms, but cream of mushroom soup. No, I'm sucking it up. Drugs. No, oh, I was joking. Oh, damn. Yeah. How is that? It's a fantastic <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a great time. Dick is already like a mushroom. See? It's shaped like a mushroom, like it has similar like mm -hmm. texture. Yeah, that's why it's fun. It's like dick on dick. Yeah. Hmm. Mushrooms are dicks. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> I'm trying to think, what I lie to my parents about? You lied to your mama about that weed in the house. Showed it. I did. Told her it was a candle. Damn, I showed it a lot of my mama. <laughs> and I felt bad because I don't really, I don't usually lie mm. to her. I, to for her. me, I don't like I'll lie from a mission. Like I lie like a nigga in that sense. Like, oh, me and Tally, we're mm -hmm. eating lunch. And we're fucking not. Oh, we're I smoke the way niggas, weed. The way niggas think I be with you, and I don't, is crazy. That's the thing. This bitch texts me. <gasps> don't tell people. <laughs> <laughs> An undisclosed amount of time ago. <laughs> is that better? That's fine. <laughs> and I had hit her up. I had commented on her picture. I was like, oh, girl, you so cute. Where you going? <laughs> She's like, bitch, I told somebody I was with you. Why you ask me where I'm going? I'm like, bitch, what the fuck am I supposed to know? Don't, don't include me in your lie without briefing me I didn't know you was going to ask me where I was going on the internet. I was very clearly not wherever you said I was. It doesn't matter. These niggas are stupid. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know anything. They're the smartest, stupidest people on the planet. I got to sneeze. <coughs> God damn it. Bless you. That was Bless you. terrible. Why are you sneezing in my direction? Bless you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Now you the air wopped it over here. <laughs> air wopped it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh. Um, but lying to... Yeah. <laughs> some I have some lies involving you are still active, man. I don't know what to tell you. I can't even really talk about them here. There's some lies involving you that's still in play, baby. I don't know. I lie to niggas when I feel like they're lying to me. I don't lie to well, niggas. Well, can you let me know what the lies are so yeah, I can at I least, can if it ever gets confronted with me, like, oh, how's the cooking competition going? I'm like, nigga, yeah. what? I mean, but also, you don't be knowing my niggas, though. So there's that, too. Then they don't be knowing me. That's the point. I, that's why I say it will never be validated otherwise. Because the closest my niggas have, can get to you is Twitter. They don't see you in no other place. And it's not even that they follow you. You just come across their shit outside of you, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I don't think I'd be lying to him for real. Oh, huh, that's funny. Um, um, under what circumstance would you lie to your partner? We already kind of talked about it, but it was like, I mean, um, some things niggas don't need to know. I lie to my partners. It depends. Because, you know, I, it's difficult for me to be boyfriend-girlfriend with somebody. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'd be having, like, boyfriend-girlfriend-style rules with niggas, but, like, we not officially together. I lie to niggas when I feel like they lie to me or if I catch them in a lie. Because if I catch them in a lie and I'm not going to leave you, I'm not going to bring it up. But if I clock a lie, I'm I'm going to start lying. That's mm -hmm. just where I'm at with it. Because it's fun. We lie now. Um, and then I lie to my partner. If, if whatever, there's no, only the truth is going to upset you. And I, if the truth is going to upset you and I've done nothing wrong, I don't know what else to... I, there's no reason for me to bring it up. You know what I'm saying? So that's lying by omission, I guess. Yeah. Like, it's something that you would say you want to know, but you really... No. You really don't. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, who I was over there? Or, like, like for example, right? So I have a guy friend who, like, how I was telling you earlier, like, sometimes, like, a dude will be a girl's friend, but the girl will be wanting a nigga, right? So, like, I have a guy friend, like, I'm his friend, and I don't want him. He likes me. But, like, because I don't want him, I can still honor our friendship and go get drinks. You know what I'm saying? Do shit like that because I'm not going to fuck you. I'm not going to do any of that. Like, I don't like you. Bitch. So, I had a comedy show. And I was there with, like, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that nigga just popped, was like, what time you go on? And popped up. So I was like, hey, this guy that's about to walk through the door right now really likes me. And sometimes we have drinks, but I don't like him. And baby, that put that boy in a tizzy. He was like, excuse me, who's going to walk through this door? What is going on? And it was awkward for me because I'm like, I'm not going to ignore my friend because you're here. But I did want to give you the the courtesy. The, courte- the truth to let you know that th- this nigga is here because but he I likes me. But I wish niggas me. would do that. Because, like, hey, every ex-girlfriend I've ever had in my life is in this party. And some bitch, I, you know, fucked that one time. Mm-hmm. Can you let a bitch know so I'm not being nice to these hoes? Not that I would be mean on purpose, but, like, mm-hmm. not being more nice. Overly to- friendly. Yeah. yeah. So, like, but if I ever, this is why that boy would never come or anybody. I date is never coming to homecoming because like niggas will go out there where to be weird because mm-hmm. I've seen it happen in real time like mm-hmm. hey bro I'm such and such Who? so yeah the fuck you never get an opportunity but if, if that does happen I'll be like hey he used to like mold about my booty cheeks a couple years back no yeah. big deal I mean when I had um when um old girl got married and um Patrick was my date to the wedding I kind of let him know very very vaguely that like hey you're welcome to leave the relationship but niggas i've fucked are at this wedding bruh and be cool be cool about it but i didn't tell him specifically who because i didn't want his little him to be insecure about things yeah but um yeah i don't That's know i went to a party with that boy and my ex was there. i was like hey my ex is here i didn't say who my ex was just know he's here i don't ever want my nigga to be nowhere and a nigga think he got a one up on my man and that's I don't the thing. Want that. And I don't yeah. want that for myself, but niggas will just put you in the moves like that. Well, yeah. They're not good people. Anyway. They're not. Um, lying to manipulate men. Let's talk about our, our good bitch, Carly Russell, man. Let's talk about Carly she because... She ought to be ashamed of herself. <laughs> Last time we was here, we cussed y'all we that, I mean, to the white meat. We cussed niggas out behind you, bitch, and you did us dirt. You could at least let us know that you, you was making, me. making shit up. Girl, and just lie and tell the nigga you pregnant like a normal person. Right. You didn't have to do that shit. Right, sis. That was crazy. Just literally fake pregnancy, eat a bunch of ice cream, kind of work it through, get a little fat. It's fine. What is your problem? <laughs> what is your fucking problem? You gotta- <laughs> and you know, the alternative to us cussing out would have been, rest in peace, I'm so sorry, yeah. they, they barbecued you. Like that's, But that's what niggas want. I still stand firm in the fact that, first of all, I'm gonna if anybody else goes missing, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go. I do it a thousand more times as I did the first time. Yes. Um, I'm really tongue tied today. I think I haven't eaten enough because I've just my my mouth is not catching up with my brain. But anyway, um, no. And then also like she was simply having a silly goofy time. Like it's awful. It's terrible. I know she she was shook when she logged on from her burner phone and saw people were actually giving a fuck. She was like, oh fuck. Because she just wanted that nigga's attention. (laughs) She did. And his dweeb ass. Uh, his dweeb I ass hate bitch. niggas. Oh I hate God. niggas. On my kids. On all five of my kids. <laughs> I hate niggas. Hate niggas, bro. He on a fucking a club promotion poster. Talking about he looking for love because he done with car. And also, like, not trying to be funny, no shade of Birmingham. I know we got a lot of listeners in Birmingham. This is the most Birmingham shit that could have ever happened. This is the most Birmingham-y <laughs> situation yeah. that could have happened. If, if I had to guess, if I had no context for this, and somebody was like, guess what city this happened in? It's Birmingham. This is quite Bir- Birmingham-ish. I- is it not? We all know Birmingham, yes? Yeah. I, yes, yeah. I bet money that nigga finna move to Atlanta. I bet money. Oh, for, he's, bet money. he's signing the $30,000 a month lease right <laughs> now. But you know And the whole is gonna go. That's the worst part about it. It's gonna be bitches in their best fashion Nova and their best cape Robin Hills at that damn oak or wherever the fuck this party is trying to see this nigga. Well, see, he looks short. There's that. And then also, the thing about it is... Not too much. I t- True, you do love a short king. Um, I totally understand. Sometimes when, when bitches be going so crazy behind niggas, you're making it look too good. I need to know what it's hitting off. Because for you to be doing all that. And that's why the bitches are over here like, I don't. I, mean, I wouldn't fake a kidnap, kidnapping. Or honestly, I wouldn't do none of that shit. But... Now the bitches gonna want to fuck your nigga. The bitches want to fuck your nigga for less. It was a nigga on campus, and I won't say his name because I don't know if anybody. Um, now you're not saying name. No, no, no. I don't know if anybody follows. You know what I'm saying, like his life or whatever. But I think he has a person now. But it was a nigga so fine on Alabama State's campus. Mm-hmm. Bitches were losing it, like on some like not actually, but the vibe of like holding a boombox outside of somebody's window, like type shit. Like the bitches were going through it behind this nigga. 
I wanted a hit of that dick so bad. I wanted like just, fucking a, just, just like a little taste of it so bad. Because what are you doing to these hoes? <laughs> What are you doing to these bitches that they are losing it like but this? But you know what? In college, I didn't fuck many of people. Mm-hmm. But people. I fucked two people. And one of the people I fucked, the girls were, like, doing the most. Even, like, Easton Mean is just like, you couldn't have got the same dick I got. What are you doing? So that just goes to show the bitches would do that over anything. Yeah, true. I'm like, you, you, you mad at me about this dick? Yeah. No. Here, have it back. Yeah, but so, sometimes, dog, I just be needing to know why bitches backing up like that. Have you ever, like, lied to manipulate a man into, like, behaving a certain way? I don't know. Since me and this boy have been in the season, I, like, kind of play up my sadness sometimes. I'm not going to be as sad as I really am putting my face back. <sighs> yeah. To get things. I do a lot of heavy sighing to get my way. Yeah, um, sometimes no, you got to play up that sadness or the anger. Like, you're yeah. not even that mad. But you know what? I'm going to make you feel bad. Because if you, but see, that's the thing. With, and, you know, I hate to say it, but, like, that be the thing. Like, so, you know, and I hate to compare me. I really do hate to compare men to dogs, like, in this situation. But when you right. get a new dog, they say that when the dog, like, hurts you, even if it don't hurt that bad, or they bite you, or, like, they you scratch gotta, you or something, you got to overreact. You got to, like, fall out so that they know the impact it. of what they've done. It's, it's, a, it's, it's like, what's it called? Thing. Back training or something? Like, what's the name of it? It's, I don't know the name It's an it. official name, because I remember yeah. we got Cardi. People were, like, giving unsolicited advice. And, oh, make sure you bite train or whatever. Yeah. But. So, like, it's the same with men. Like, I, like, even when I was talking about, you know, a boy, like, last night, I was mad, but I had to really, like, lean in. And I, I was furious, but even me being furious is not enough to show you how upset and hurt I really am. So you I had really got to show your you ass. You really got to show your ass, and I think that's just, I mean, that's the Because the same way, I, and that's how that man you ran into early was trained. Because once he's sitting in tears, he's like, no. no. <laughs> Niggas will just rather you not. Yeah. I'm not doing, I'm doing right, not because I want to do right, but because I just want to hear you I don't want to deal with that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Professional lying. Lying at, at work. Oh, I'm just so busy. I, I'm doing one line of the Excel every hour. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't give me nothing else to do. Oh, God. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't ask me. You no got to lie at work. How was your weekend? Uh, I didn't do nothing. Mind you, I was dancing on tables. That's twerking. the biggest lie. How was your weekend? I didn't do anything. Because people, first of all, I don't know what's going on with white people, particularly white women. They want to know your socials so bad. They want to follow you on Instagram. They want to follow you on Twitter. Mind you, they following you from their professional styled account. Like, and they got a whole nother she account. She's doing coke on her other page. On her other page. But she want to follow your your personal page. Talking about something. Oh, let's connect. I think the fuck now, you trick ass bitch. No. I don't know what it is. And then they, I think, because it's happened to me, that they find your socials, so they have, like, shit leverage. on you. They have leverage on you, and it's so fucking well, crazy. Well, you know, Jasmine was um, doing a split on stage at um, I, the I, club. I don't know. Is that part uh, of her oh, I feel like, did I do that? Um, but no, I didn't. Um, no, I made it up. Okay, okay. cool, cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I was fooling that deeper. I know I was. Oh, now we, now we. We. We had a, we had a time. <laughs> He was doing, he was doing. Ooh, 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 ooh. time for another day for this It weekend. is, yeah. Dang. What you, oh, yeah, you got shit to do. I got, like, a you whole your thing. Secret, I got, like, thing you have to do. I, yeah, I just, it's the whole thing. But um, I'm tell you my that. other favorite lie in the workplace, because I can't stand my, my mother's mother's husband, he died every job I get. Every job I get. If oh. you keep killing him enough. Every jo- I'm hoping so. <laughs> He's terrible. Every job I get, he is murdered, okay? He's died in so many creative ways. I just keep making up shit. I get really emotional about it. Have you seen uh, Benjamin Button? No. You've never seen a Benjamin Button? No, and I, I feel bad about it. Well, now we got to watch Benjamin Button. We got to watch it. When are we going to the Cheesecake Factory? Well, maybe you can go to Cheesecake Factory and do Benjamin Button one of these I days. I love that. I would love that. You've never seen. I've you not. You are going to love Benjamin Button. I've not seen it. Cause it, is any like a like a. He said he ain't see it either. Cool. Okay, I don't feel as bad. It's so good. Um, but yeah. You know what's sad? Uh-huh. It's sad, but it's not like the sadness. You get eased into the sadness, so it's not like a drastic sad. Okay. But but yeah. don't he age in reverse? Yeah. Ugh. Good. Weird. It's fun. Is he a little person? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brad Pitt. Bitch. Oh, bitch. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's cool. Brad Pitt, Taraji in it, Mahershala in it. Is that Tar- how you say that man's name? Mahershala? Mahershala Ali. You know stuff. Yeah. I've been calling that man Masha 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 for years. That's anti something. It's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it I is. Mean, I don't talk about him in conversation. It's but, one of them obics. Yeah, one of them obics. But um, yeah, my, I, my, my step granddad. <laughs> oh, sorry. I spit. Gross. Hmm. Some bacteria today. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. Oh, this is fun. Okay, well, I we, think we're done. We, we're 
done. I've had a blast. Well, I don't know about uh, y'all. The, the doors of the church are open. Um, um, well, there'll be one. So we've had a good time, y'all. Uh, please, <laughs> please share and tweet. Share, and tweet, things. leave us reviews, things of that nature. Tell a friend, tell a friend, share it with your cousins, all that stuff. We're going to have a letters episode. So please, 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 please write us letters. Make it juicy. Yeah. We want some juicy, messy letters. <laughs> y'all don't know us personally, but we are incredibly messy bis- bitches. Yes. We love mess. I love so mess. Other people's mess that have nothing to do with me. Oh, when it's mess and it's not my mess, ooh, ooh. we. Mm. Put it in my veins. I love it. But yes, all right, y'all. Bye. Bye.